Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is my plant honey. Well, it's been a bit. It's been a bit. It's been a bit. Uh, I've been gone for a little bit, but I'm back for 2024. I got so many bottles in 2023 that I wanted to upload and share it with you all, but I just, I just couldn't get around it. But here I am. I'm hoping to share some of the good bottles that I got, share some of the reviews, some of my tasting notes with you. And um, it's gonna be a good year. So let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. For 24 hours, like, oh, what, what should I do for my first episode? What should I do for the episode that I come back with? Um, again, I got a lot of decent bottles. I got really good bottles at you know, good prices too. But the first thing that came up to my mind, it, it's obvious choice, uh, was my biggest score of 2023, which is the, the one and only George T. Stag. Here you go. Not the regular Stag Junior, but the George T. Stag, GTS, so people call it. This one, this is a unicorn, a legit unicorn. You can't find it anywhere. Uh, if you do find it on liquor store shelves or whatnot, you see it for, I don't know, $2,000, crazy amounts, right? From what I hear, you can't even keep them on the shelf for that price, so. So again, this is a George T. Stag Bourbon. It's coming in at at 67.5% alcohol and 135 proof. It comes out yearly as part of the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. I think they have five different bourbons. I have five different whiskeys that come out in that, in that collection. So I, the story is, I got this bottle at one of the bigger grocery chains around here. I visit there frequently, not just for, for liquor, but for food and my kids stuff and, and groceries and desserts and whatnot. And whenever I go, I talk to the liquor manager and we have a decent relationship. I was able to score one of these when it came in in December at MSRP. I think it was $180, which is crazy, which is crazy. I never, you know, you never see it on shelf for $180. And even if it is, actually you never see it. It's it's unheard of. So I'm very lucky, very fortunate to get this, get this bottle. When I brought it home, I immediately that night opened it up and tried it and it was delicious, delicious. It's been, it's already open as you could tell. It's been a few weeks. I haven't tried it since then. A little neck pour. So we'll try it again. I'll share my notes with you. Hopefully it comes, comes through and then we'll go from there. So here we go. The color is very golden brown. Can't really distinguish from any other bourbon. But I could tell it's very clinging to the to the glass. It's pretty thick. So this is 15 year whiskey, 15 year bourbon, at least 15 years from what I understand. So it could be older juice that's that's mixed in there or that's in there, but at least 15 years. So, so let's go for the nose. <sighs> Maple syrupy, dark sugar notes. A little bit of like a cherry, like a cherry cola-ish, like a sweet cherry. It's 135 proof, but it doesn't sting your nose at all. At all, absolutely not. All right, let's go for a sip. Cheers, everybody. Happy 2024. This is good. This is so good. This is so good. One more step before I give you my thoughts. I'm gonna go reverse on this bottle today. So instead of going for the taste, I'm gonna start for the finish. The finish is magnificent. The finish is what sort of separates this from any other. Right now, it's been, you know, what, 15 seconds since I tasted it. It's still here, as if someone stole applying the coats of this George T. Stag in, my, in the inner, inner linings of my mouth. It's still here and it's going down. It doesn't burn at all, 135. You know, some of the, uh, like a pair of proof ones, um, I don't know, I, I don't call off the top of my head, but a lot of 130, 140 proof ones, it stinks. You're fighting through that proof. You're you're trying to hash through all that you know, alcohol to get the flavors out, not this. And the finish is just magnificent on the house. It's fantastic. It's just grabbing onto every part of your, the cell inside your mouth. And it's just lingering and lingering and it won't 
leave you. The taste, so the cherry cola notes comes through. A little bit of a maple syrup in note coming through. Like a little bit dry oak, just a hint of dry oak. Dry oak, brown sugar. Oh, the finish, I can't get over the finish, guys. The finish is just so good. All the flavors, it doesn't go away, it stays with you. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. That underlying oak sort of lays a foundation. That old 15 year oak. Sometimes, you know, you get an older batch of whiskey and the oak just overpowers you or it's just too prominent. Um, not this one. Even though it's 15 years plus, it doesn't. It, the, the, all the flavors, the, 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 the cherry fruity note, the sweet notes, a little bit of oakiness, a little leathery taste. Um, a little bit of walnut taste. Oh man, I taste the walnuts now. It's all there and nobody's taking a backseat. It's like everyone's trying to be the protagonist. No one's a supporting cast. Everybody is the main character in this, in this whiskey. No wonder this one is called the daddy of a mod. It's so good. It's so good. I don't know if you see it. It just, when I drank it, the whiskey went up there. You can see the coat down the side of the glen. And it's absolutely, absolutely great. The lingering nuttiness, lingering sweetness, it just stays with you and stays with you and it won't leave. It's bold, it's straightforward, and it says, hello, I'm here and I'm gonna stay for a while. So, oh man, that's good, It's good. You know, people people have asked, uh, not to me directly, but I see, you know, what does it taste like? What does George C. Stag taste like? What's something you could compare it with? And a lot of people say it's Stag, you know, the Stag Juniors. Uh, now it's just to call it, just called a Stag, but I'm gonna have to disagree. It doesn't taste like the Stag at all. Uh, maybe a little bit in the sweetness. It's because Stag is very sweet and thick. I see that, um, I see the sweet and thickness here, but everything else man it just to the next level it's just the next dimension when it comes to flavors the finish the mouth feel the nose is eh, it's about the same i guess um nothing crazy good about the nose but i mean the flavor and the finish and the mouth feel is is next world no wonder these things go for a thousand bucks two thousand bucks i'm very thankful i'm very thankful that i was able to obtain this for 180 bucks do I recommend it or not? Obviously I recommend it. This is a must buy. If you can't get this bottle, a lot of the bars should have it. So if you get a chance, go to a bar that you know has a bottle of George C. Stag. I don't know how much it'll cost. It's gonna be a, a little bit you know, pricey, but if you're able to afford it, grab a pour um, with a friend, with your loved ones and see what it tastes like. I'm sure you won't be, you won't be disappointed. So, so anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thanks to everybody for joining. I'm um, good to be back. I'm happy to be back. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm just enjoying this experience, just being here with you. And then I hope that 2024, I'm here more often and share with you all the, the loot that I got in the last six months. I can't wait to share with you. So and let me know any comments in the bottom. If you tasted George C. Stapp, let me know what you think. Or is it worth 180 uh, or is it worth $1,000? You let me know at the bottom and happy to respond to that. Thanks everybody, appreciate it. And uh, happy new year's again, happy 2024, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.